everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to week two of my weight loss journey here on YouTube. So if you're new, my name is Michelle. I'm a mom of two boys and I am on a journey to lose 65 pounds. So in last week's video, I kind of just introduced that I'm starting this weight loss journey and I kind of gave you guys like the baseline stats of like my weight, my measurements, and also I talked about this scale that I have. It's called Renfo. I got it on Amazon. It was like $30, but it tells you all of this different kind of information that I'm going to be using as tracking as well, like my subcutaneous fat level, which is the fat around my um, muscles, my visceral fat, which is like the fat around my organs, and my just body fat percentage in general, my BMI. And these are all things that I'm going to be tracking every single week with you guys. And so last week I went over everything, which is kind of like basically my baseline. When I got this scale is what I'm using as my baseline, which was, I think two weeks before I actually started filming that video. Um, it was March 31st was uh, my actual like baseline on that scale, but I didn't do measurements or anything until last week's video. So uh, this week I actually did forget to do like my measurements. My official weigh in day I do on Thursday and I realized I forgot to do my measurements and I had already been working out for like the next week and so I didn't want them to be inaccurate. So I decided to just skip the measurements, like the actual measurements portion of it, but I did weigh myself with the scale so I still have that for tracking. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the workouts that I did this week. Um, I have been trying to do them with my sister who I talked about in the last video who just had a baby as well. So you're probably going to see our kids running around, well my kids running around, hers is just a baby. but. Yeah, as a mom, you need to incorporate your kids in your workout somehow. So, so she's probably going to be in a lot of these videos with me. She's trying to lose weight as well. So, you're probably going to be seeing a lot of her. She also has a YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to check it out, I can link it down below. But let's go ahead and get into the workouts.
complicated We're automated And overpopulated that I did so I am only working out three days a week um, which I think starting out three days a week is still really good I work four ten, so I only work four days out of the week and I have my three days off in a row so those are the days that I've dedicated to working out so like I mentioned in last week's video I am still breastfeeding my 10 month old son and so I'm taking this extremely slow um, I'm not making any changes to my diet or anything like that just yet 
um, I'm just incorporating more workouts. And so that was what I did this week. So now let's go ahead and jump into the weigh-in portion of this video. So for my weight this week, I weighed a total of 181.2 pounds. So since last week, I've lost a total of 2.4 pounds. And then my overall total since March 31st, I've lost a total of 4.4 pounds. So that's super exciting. I feel like it's gonna be, I don't wanna say easy to lose the weight, but I feel like I'm gonna lose more weight in the beginning and then it's gonna get really hard like once my body's getting used to it a little bit more. I also know that my body does fluctuate weight a lot. Like sometimes I'll be really low and other times I'll be really high. So I'm trying to weigh myself around like the same time every single week. Um, and I'm trying not to overweigh myself so I don't like freak myself out when I see all those changes because I know I do fluctuate my body weight a lot. So next I have my BMI, which this week my BMI was 29.5. And then next I have my body fat percentage, which was 34.4%. So that's like my total body fat percentage. And then I have my subcutaneous body fat percentage, which is the fat around my muscles, was 30.3%. My visceral fat, which is like the fat around like my heart and my other like vital organs, was at 11. So last week it was out of 12, so it did go down. And then my metabolic age didn't change at all. It's still at 31. So I'm 26 years old, that's obviously not ideal, but that is everything I have for today's weight loss update video. Um, next week I will make sure I don't forget to do those measurements and I'm also going to um, go through and kind of track how much I've lost in a week and then how much I've lost total in every single video. So I didn't do that this time, but I'm gonna be doing that next week. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. I do post these weight loss updates every single Wednesday. I also post budgeting lifestyle videos um, every single Sunday. So if you're interested in anything like that, go check those out. So please subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.